Hey everyone, in this video I want to talk about a loop called the for loop. And this loop is ideal if you want to take a list of stuff and go through each element in this list. So let's go through an example. I'm going to create a list called friends and inside of this list I'm just going to put some string data in here of various people. All right, so I have four friends on here and if I wanted to display each one of these into the console then we would use a for loop. But what we know so far is if we do print and put friends in here, it's going to print everybody. And when we do this, it prints it as a list in one entity. If we wanted to do each name individually, that's where the for loop comes in. So what we do is we say, let's get rid of this original print here. We say for, then what we do is we create a variable to store one of the people. So we would say friend, and then you'd say in friends, and then a colon. So we created this variable, we decided to name it friend, you could have named it whatever. And then all you have to do is say print friend, like so. So we're gonna print that variable. Running this, and we get Abby, Jonathan, Becky, and Ryan. So each time through this list is known as an iteration. The first iteration, the friend variable is assigned Abby. The next iteration, friend is assigned Jonathan. The next iteration, Becky, and then the last iteration, Ryan. That's your introduction to the for loop. The next couple of videos, we're going to be talking about different variations and the different things you can do with this loop. So stay tuned.